All right, for chapter five homework problem two, we're gonna find the outlet control head water elevation. So for this time, we're gonna to have to use the outlet control charts. And so now we'll move to chart 11. And in order to use that chart, we'll have to use the turning point. So our first data we'll put in will be the diameter of the pipe, which is the 24 inches. And then we know the length is 200 feet uh, with that entrance loss coefficient of 0 0.9. So let's go ahead and take a look at where that first line will be um, that will give us the turning point. So I went ahead and drew this already on this chart 11. Um, and so we start here with the 24 inch diameter and connect it up to the 200. So it's the top line here, that 200 foot length on the KE equals 0.9. And so that becomes that line there. And so we've got our turning point right through here, our line that we have to get through. And then we'll find the other data. We know that the Q is equal to 15. So we'll look at our scale here. If this is 10, this is 12, 14, there will be 15, 16, 18. So we'll go right between those. And for that 15, go through that turning point and then out to the head line here. And we see that this is 3 and 4, so 3.2, 3.4, 3.6. Looks like it's coming right in there at 3.8. And so we'll use that value for the head. Remember, going through the turning line for that to work. So for that Q of 15 cubic feet per second, that does give us a head value of 3.8 feet. But we're not done yet um, because in order to break this work out, we have to find that headwater. Um, so we'll find the headwater first and then the elevation. So the headwater is equal to that head plus the tailwater minus the slope times the length. And I'm getting that formula from the formula sheet um, on that second page where we have that drawing there. It's an important drawing to keep in mind because we should think about what we're looking for at the end here for that outlet control headwater elevation. So here's my chart and here's everything that's going on. Uh, for my headwater, remember that I've got this uh, headwater uh, is this section right here. So in order even to find that outlet um, elevation that I'm interested in for headwater, I'm still going to add that to the inlet invert to find that elevation in the end. So I wanted to show that uh, picture so you could see that. Also, here is the formula that I'm using to find that headwater on your handout there. Okay, so let's put those values in. For the head then, it is 3.8 feet plus that tailwater depth is 1.5 feet minus that slope, and I went ahead and calculated that from these different elevations. So inlet invert was 112, outlet invert was 108, and that occurs over a length of 200 feet. So that gives us a slope of 0.02 or 2%, and that runs over that whole 200 foot length. And that is feet as well. And so that does give us a final answer of 1.3 feet for that headwater uh, depth there, but in order to find the outlet control headwater elevation, uh, we're going to have to add that to the uh, inlet invert elevation. So outlet control headwater elevation, because remember headwater is measured at that inlet, we'll take that inlet height uh, elevation, which is 112, and we'll add the 1.3 to it. And so that's why we're using that instead of the outlet invert elevation. You can go ahead and look back to that picture to see where that headwater occurs. And so that answer is 113.3 feet.